Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating challenge faced by developers working on high-performance applications. Our viewer asks, how can I effectively manage cache line padding for variables that are a multiple of cache line size? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer is building a fast, multi-threaded, discrete event simulation framework. To optimize performance, they need to align certain variables to cache lines and pad the remaining space to avoid cache line contention. However, they encountered a snag when using their padding function, CLPAD, with object types that are exactly sized as multiples of the cache line. This results in a zero-sized array warning, which is not allowed in C++. So, how can they make the declaration of padding disappear if SCALPAD returns zero? Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. Let's address the issue with cache line padding in your multi-threaded simulation framework. The problem arises when the CLPAD function returns zero for types that are already a multiple of the cache line size. To avoid creating a zero-sized array, we can use a conditional compilation technique. This allows us to declare the padding array only when it's necessary. Here's how you can implement this. We can use a simple if statement to check the result of CLPAD. If it's greater than zero, we declare the padding array. This way, if CLPAD returns zero, the padding array won't be declared, thus avoiding the zero size array error. This keeps your memory usage efficient. In summary, by using conditional compilation, you can ensure that your padding array is only created when necessary, maintaining both performance and memory efficiency in your framework. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This solution introduces a template structure called padded, which helps manage cache line padding for variables. It uses alignment to ensure that objects are properly padded based on their size. The padded structure has two specializations. One adds padding for types that are a multiple of the cache line size, while the other does not. This allows for efficient memory alignment. In the example, two types are defined, my type one and my type two. The padded T type is then used to create padded instances, demonstrating how the sizes and alignments change. Finally, you can create functions to access the MyObject member of these padded structures as needed, providing flexibility in usage. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.